The President Comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa is soon to launch two cars and a motorbike made by a Zimbabwean inventor Songolani Chikumbuzo. Chikumbuzo, a 44-year-old man, a resident of Zuarese Kwainarare, dropped from school when he was in Form 2 due to financial constraints. He started his journey of making gadgets in the late 1990s, making a radio transmitter, digital navigator, turbine engine using scrap metal. And in 2009, he began his journey into green energy. Here him explain it to the president, Comrade Emerson Dabuzo Mnagagwa at State House. No fuel, nothing. Nothing, no fuel. First in the world. The first in the world. Get this power from the sky. Yeah, from the radio frequency. This one you have in Zimbabwe. Yes, we have done it in Zimbabwe. Can you explain? Yeah. So the vehicle it is powered with what we call a microsonic energy device. That is the after our round of power. The, 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 the vehicle, it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harnesses radio frequencies, converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just in, like nothing. But we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation or for the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me we have designed. So those are the components that, that, that enable uh, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy. And this is the first time in the world. With that technology, it violates uh, the laws of energy in, thermo in, in thermodynamics and also the first law of energy as well. So they wanted to arrest him for changing physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route after that. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house and the vehicle itself it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 380 320 to 380 newton meters of, meters of torque that means it's, it's fast and um, we are talking of a um, horsepower of around 215 horsepower so when we compare this car with the with the same cars of of this model, like the Toyota, the Toyota um, Eben Cruiser, you will see that this is uh, efficient in everything. When you talk of load, our car doesn't weigh much, it weighs 1,405 kgs only. When you talk of an Eben Cruiser, you're talking of about 1,800, so that means you can carry extra baggage in the vehicle. Top speed is 220 kilometers per hour. Yeah which is fast, it has got two driving modes. We have got the sport mode, which will give you zero to 100 kilometers per hour in around two seconds. That is very, very powerful. Then we've got what we call a normal driving mode when you want to drive like in town. You can select that one so that it, it won't give you a, a lot of torque. Chukumbuzo also talks about his journey to Silicon Valley in the United States of America where he was poisoned together with his partner, who passed on for defying the laws of physics. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Uh, so I was always in Zimbabwe and United States of America until he heard about myself. Then he invited me. The president. The president, yes. Then he invited me to, 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 to come back and put my base in Zimbabwe. So right now I'm based in Zimbabwe. Best advantage, they could have the driving range is unlimited. I charge this way, I eat with my kids, I'm going to driver for the next 20 years. And the motor car is a true tower, it's a upper market, it's a summer from 2015, we have been working hard, testing it, homologations, CBCA certifications, ISO certifications, FCC standards, just it's
Sagaya road with. Even when it came to Zimbabwe, yeah. it went through VAD. Sagaya motor came from it to Ofimba Road. You are the inventor. Yeah, I'm the one who invented the technology. President Munangagwa says he called him back home to do his work here in Zimbabwe and is happy to grace the occasion when the vehicles are launched. Is there any other vehicle you want? Uh, with this technology, you know, this is the first vehicle in the world. Where is it? Here in Zimbabwe. Yes, I want to be about in three million. Let them eat their three million. Come here, eat something. <laughs> <laughs> But he's, he's more educated than engineers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this thing from time he began doing these things, I've been supporting him. Yes. Throughout. Yeah, he was making television at my house. And they can have a television, and there's no wire. You can listen to all stations which we want on tarmac. This is what you call it. Um, so from the drone. Yeah. This is a big drone. So you made one. This is a two years ago. Yes, yes. You made a drone. You can make a drone from here. Just put up wires together and then put something around it. You can fly to Cape Town and call it back. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There is no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world and it is here in Zimbabwe. By this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you won't believe it. When he first came to uh, talk to me, I thought he had some didn't they hold the wires? <laughs> it's it, but I now know that it's well connected, well connected. To the layman, these two vehicles which were brought to State House in a motorcycle use radio frequencies that powers these vehicles. No electricity, no liquid fuels, and they are silent when traveling, clocking a speed of up to over 220 kilometers per hour and have all the trappings of modern vehicles. The current vehicles were assembled in China using Chikumbuso's powertrain of radio frequencies. If fully produced, the vehicles could cut Zimbabwe's fuel import and Sungulani suspects that the oil and vehicle manufacturers in the United States could have had a hand in his poisoning. Soon Zimbabwe will launch to the world what her young minds can do for the country and humanity, said the president. Ruben Barwe, ZBC News, State of Sarare.